anything can have an effect in the painting. If I think back um, to my childhood, I was brought up in an artist's family. Both parents were and are artists, doing very different things to me, but there was always an enthusiasm and an encouragement for creating. And I've always painted, I've always drawn, I've always done stuff like that since I was a kid. As soon as I get out of bed in the morning, look out the window, I'm delighted and amazed and I just feel as though I have to do something as a result of looking at the environment. My inspiration is essentially the natural world and how we fit into it, how we are changing it, how we're affecting it. So it's this sort of interface between environment and us as a species. So inspiration is all around. My real problem is to choose what not to paint because everything out there is paintable, but I need the reason to paint it. Often that reason is a personal experience, which might be a childhood memory, something that's affected my family or I've been told about, which can be a place or a part of the world. It can be right down to a tree, a specific tree or a river or a mountain or an island, parts of the Cornish coast. But yeah, it all comes back to personal experiences. To me, drawing is essential. It's that form of mark making. It's how to use the line, how to use tone. And obviously it can be colour as well. But drawing now means a whole host of things. You can draw with film, you can draw with wire, you can draw with your foot in the mud. Whatever it means, we vaguely know what it means in terms of tone and line and the response to the outside world. There's a response to things that happen to me and experiences I have, as well as what's going on inside my head and how I'm feeling and you know, how I'm moving. You know, some days I've got a bad back, sometimes I've got creaky arms, you know. All that can lead into it. Sometimes I'm just really buzzed up and full of exciting and jumping around. And so all those things feed into it. What I'm painting and how I'm painting, to me, I feel is very relevant to the 21st century. And although I'm painting things that for a long time have been considered unsexy, i.e. beauty, the natural world, the outdoors, which was all a no-go area because, you know, you were meant to be urban and angst-ridden and shock and all these things that I'm not interested in, actually. I'm, I think, trying to deal with the agenda of the environment and open people's eyes to what's happening in the world and to appreciate this world and to understand what we share it with. And therefore, I think what I'm doing is very political, actually, and of the moment. So. I do what I do, but there is a reason why I do it.